So Star Wars has been a bit of a hot topic lately, and the reason why is because they came out recently, uh, Wikipedia came out recently and announced that uh, apparently Luke Skywalker is gay this entire time. We didn't even realize it. Uh, he's part of the LGBTQ community. We had no idea. And now apparently there's a rumor going around that the Walt Disney executives uh, see the Star Wars brand as damaged. They allegedly have a new plan that's going to involve Rey and Baby Yoda. Now, the funny thing is, a lot of people, if you were to consider Star Wars damaged, you probably consider Star Wars damaged the moment they started putting out the movies with Rey in it. Because at the end of the day, those movies were absolutely terrible. I, I don't know of anybody that's a true Star Wars fan that actually enjoyed uh, the recent trilogy that we unfortunately had to bear witness to with Disney Star Wars. Now, with that being said, if your brand is damaged, it's probably because of the most recent iterations of the brand that you released. Now, that has to do with the uh, trilogy that you released. It has to do with the TV shows that you released on Disney+. Plus. has to do with Kenobi, what you did with Kenobi and Reva and all that nonsense. It has to do with a lot of things. And unfortunately, it seems like these people just don't get it because now they're going to double down by focusing on Rey and Baby Yoda. Of all things, you want to focus on Rey and Baby Yoda. It's, it's so confusing to me. I just don't understand it. So let's get into the article, guys. This one comes from us from good old Bounding Into Comics, and it says, Rumor, Walt Disney executives see Star Wars brand as damaged, allegedly have new plan involving Rey and Baby Yoda. A new rumor claims that Walt Disney executives see the Star Wars brand as damaged and allegedly have a plan involving Grogu and Rey to fix it. This new rumor comes from Scooper and YouTuber WDW Pro in a video about Lucasfilm's rumor, Next Steps for Star Wars. Before jumping into the information he heard about Lucasfilm's plans for the future of Star Wars, he noted, I am told there was a, a decision point in the last few months concerning Star Wars and that the decision point came about because the brand is seen as damaged, even internally, at Disney. But once again, if the brand is considered damaged, why would you want to double down on what damaged the brand in the first place? A lot of these rumors, you kind of have to take with a grain of salt, honestly, because I, I really don't know where they get their sources from. Obviously, nobody knows that. But at the end of the day, WDW Pro has been right on some occasions, and uh, you can take it for what it is. But I don't see why you would want to double down on what broke your product in the first place. You know what I mean? It just seems it seems kind of weird. But then again, this is Disney, right? So Disney doesn't exactly make decisions that are in the most logical ideology, right? They they just kind of go with the flow with whatever's going to get them the most likes and retweets on Twitter. So for all we know, they probably are going to double down on Ray and Baby Yoda. It says he went on to explain why that's due to declining viewership for Disney+. Plus. It's due to declining interest in the parks. Next, he, he illustrated, and that's particularly destructive on the two fronts. First of all, Star Wars is supposed to be an evergreen franchise that has its own marquee spot on Disney+. Plus. And second of all, it has some of the most premium real estate in any of the Disney parks, both on the West Coast and on the East Coast. Star Wars cannot fail for Disney, he asserted, and the decision point is that Star Wars is, in fact, failing. Well, I mean, listen, we knew Star Wars has been failing for how long now, right? I mean, we've been saying this forever, uh, especially with the latest trilogy and all through that. Uh, we've been saying this nonstop. The fact of the matter is Star Wars is not the money printing machine that it used to be. And that's unfortunate because it could have been. It could have been. If they would have just stuck to what's easy. I mean, the easiest thing in the world is pleasing the fans, right? That's literally the easiest thing in the world. Just look at what Hogwarts Legacy is doing. They, they, they wanted to play, they wanted to make a game that the fans were going to love. They did it, and now guess what? They are reaping the benefits of their work. But unfortunately, Disney is just way too focused on their stupid ideology to even notice that. It says he continued, so it is my understanding that the top level leadership, you make of that what you will, but the top level leadership of Lucasfilm was brought uh, with the top level leadership of Disney as to what they're going to do in the future to reconcile this problem that they have. And the answer is to double down on what caused the problem in the first place. It's like, come on. WDW Pro then got into the meat of his video about what Disney's plans are for the future of Star Wars are. First, he outlined a number of options that Disney executives allegedly discuss. I'm told that some of those options included retconning the sequel trilogy, as well as continuing the story, the narrative around what they've done so far. He then relayed, I'm told that Disney is going to bring back Rey. Okay, so it looks like retconning is out the out the window. Like, obviously, they're not going to want to go with that. Because if they retcon, it's not just the fact that they have to admit that the brand is a failure. They have to admit that they were wrong. And that's even worse. The, they don't really necessarily care about admitting that the brand is a failure. They care about admitting that what they did with the brand was wrong. And they took the wrong route. And that's, that's what hurts these companies more. These ideologically based companies, they never want to admit they are wrong. Look at Amazon with the Rings of Power. They just can't do it. If they do it, it's 
it's going to be a big deal for them and they just can't bring themselves to do it publicly so they're never going to admit that they were wrong they rather continue and double down with what they're doing and try to find a way to bring people in or trick people who are star wars fans into watching their future product it says after a brief discussion with his panel guests about what their thoughts are about ray returning wdw pro revealed this contact this source tells me that the reason that they are going to potentially bring Ray back is to test it out, put out a big merchandising push with a theatrical release to go along with it and find out, can Ray invigorate Star Wars with a number of other characters around her? No, no, she cannot. Ray cannot invigorate something that Ray killed in the first place. Like you cannot, what is with these people? I don't understand. Like, are, are they stupid? Can they not think for themselves? I mean, is it just like, does it have to be literally right in front of their face? At this point, it is right in front of their face, in my opinion. Like, I don't know how much more blatant do you you need to to have it in your face for you to understand that what you're doing is stupid this is why this is exactly why lucas films and disney is just is just trashing star wars this is exactly why because when they mess up they can't admit it and when it's in their face they are incapable of seeing it it's a terrible combination it says later in the video wdw pro explained that disney plans to roll out what he calls a galaxy pillar system he explains the galaxy pillars which will be the big characters going forward which disney hopes to unite the fan base by putting these characters together and having them be part of a unified story that they're going to attempt to bring Ray back uh, to get the sequel trilogy fans, should there be any, in some of the characters. He continued, I received information from this source that in testing with random people, huge numbers of people consulting firms brought in for this, that R2-D2 was far and away more popular than BB-8. It did not matter if people had seen the droids before, it didn't matter if they had never heard of Star Wars whatsoever. And so in this next push, you can expect for BB-8 to be what's referred to as tier 2 character in the story, and R2-D2 will be upfront as main character, he asserted. And that's coming off as this testing they've done with audiences to see, sort of an engineer this story from the fans up trying to determine it that way. Now again, I know a lot of people who don't necessarily hate BB-8, alright? BB-8 is actually probably one of the more popular characters in the recent Star Wars iterations, but it still doesn't hold a candle to the original characters like R2-D2 and C-3PO. Like, obviously, they, are, they, they can't even come close. It says, after claiming that R2-D2 would be united with Rey in this new vision, WDW Pro revealed it also includes three other characters. Rey is the character who leads it all. Shocker. She's the one that they want to pin this on and try to revive it. If it doesn't work, they are willing to go back and scrap. But Ray is there, he says. Chewbacca is back. I am told Chewbacca is in this. Next, he says R2-D2 number three is what I am told. Number four is a brand new character. Finally, the fifth character is Gragu. WDW Pro goes on to detail the idea is that somehow Gragu is going to unite with Ray in the next movie. If they can work out all the contracts, if they can get Daisy Ridley back with Gragu, will be a part of it along with R2, Chewie, and a brand new character. So they they're trying to do the sequel characters as well as trying to throw in member berry characters right so they have this idea that if they throw in a bunch of big names that it's going to bring people back for star wars and get them to want to watch the next nonsense that they're going to try to come out with it's only a matter of time before the next three movies hit i'm telling you like disney fully plans on releasing another trilogy it's very obvious at this point but they're going to see what they can do and from the talks of it from what wdw pro is talking about it looks like they're trying to make their own star wars cinematic universe I don't really know how that's going to work out. I mean, honestly, it just seems odd to me. Maybe that's why they started releasing all these TV shows. Who knows? But at the end of the day, I don't have a lot of faith in what Disney's able to do with Star Wars. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you did enjoy. And if you did, consider leaving me a subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. Don't forget to like the video, comment, let me know what you thought. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Hypnotic out.